The perspective chosen by Van Gogh guides your gaze upward into the tangle of branches. Looking at the painting, you feel as if you are in the middle of the flowering trees. There were many fruit orchards around the city. He enthusiastically painted a large series of studies of orchards in blossom. These plum trees were poorly maintained, as their long branches show. Van Gogh was especially fond of time-worn trees like these. Shortly after he had completed the Long Lois Bridge, Van Gogh started painting orchards in blossom. The motif preoccupied him for almost a month and on about 21st of April, when the trees were shedding their last blossom, he produced his final version. He had by then painted a total of 14 canvases, the first of which, dated about 24th of March, was, a cluster of apricot trees in bloom in a small, fresh green orchard. I'm in Newcastle, Ontario, known as the Canadian apple capital. After blueberries, apples are the second most profitable fruit crop in the country. Kirk Camp is co-owner of Algoma Orchards, the largest producer and processor of apples in Canada. The company has over 1 million apple trees spread out over 1,000 acres. Every year, the fruit tree produces more than 72 million apples. It must be the best part of the season, eh, being in your orchard. The trees are full of apples, beautiful, red, and crisp, full of juice. Yes, you can't beat this uh, time of year. You work all season to go pick the apples. And it's a beautiful day, and the apples are lovely, they're great size, good flavor, so this is the best part of the year for me. We start out in the spring, we're preparing the trees, but when the fall comes, around Labor Day, we start picking apples. So we have the workers out to pick the apples, yep. then we pick up the crates, take them to the storage, we cool them down, then we have to grade them for size, color and defects, and then we package them up in bags and loose uh, boxes and take them to the warehouses and distribute them across Canada. That's it. How many varieties do we have in Canada about? Oh, I think if you count every one, there's probably 300. Wow. But we uh, grow about 15. Okay. But uh, Galas and Macintosh and Ambrosia and Red... Vincent van Gogh, born March 30, 1853, Zundert, Netherlands, died July 29, 1890, auvers was near Paris, France, Dutch painter, generally considered the greatest after Rembrandt van Riem, and one of the greatest of the post-impressionists.